talking about digital skill, this is a very important skill for present and future. Because uh, I think it's uh, after COVID-19, many kind of services such as uh, the government services or private services include the, the finance, the finance uh, services that go digital already. And if uh, we, uh, we want to participate, fully participate to the society, the digital skill is uh, one of the most important factors for everybody from now to the future. But for the real world, for the real life, not everyone uh, have a, a digital skill, skillful or useful for digital, digital skill, such as the uh, people uh, with disability and the elderly people and uh, the people in the rural area and many people is a vulnerable, vulnerable group. That's the important things because that mean uh, many one go to the future, but someone still in the present. That many people uh, leave behind, and that is a problem for sustainable development goals. And then every I think uh, every government and every part sec sector. Uh, uh, of uh, the the world should be help them to lack a digital skill to enhance this digital skill for them also digital literacy because uh, uh, I think a digital skill not just for uh, access information important for create a new job for them. In Thailand, we have uh, more than 20% of population. They are uh, elderly people. And many one retire from the, the old job. And how we, how we can uh, maintain uh, them for the the productivity citizen, active citizen, and then uh, I think it's a digital skill, digital literacy is one of uh, the big opportunity for them. And also, a person with disability, uh, they can create the job at the home. Yes, and then this, that is uh, the 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 one of the the target, the goal uh, for the training digital skill for, for all of them to improve the quality of life. Uh, we, we should think for uh, the people who not uh, digital native. I mean, they just migrate from the digital, uh, from the, the analog era to digital era from, from now. That means uh, the, uh, the way of life of them is analog, not digital. I think uh, we should uh, uh, inform them what is the benefit for digital and how they use digital safely and uh, more secure. And then I think the training program uh, the the uh, curriculum designed for uh, uh, each uh, different uh, condition is a uh, very important. I would like to show you um, our model for inclusive design. Uh, that been is the ultimate goal of. Uh, my work or my idea is an inclusive society 
or happiness society we live with happiness together uh, the inclusive design that's a way to inclusive society and happiness society uh, i have a 10 finger that i call the 10 finger model for inclusive design the first one is beginning from the right hand the thumb we i represent for urban design that means city town the index i represent for uh, landscape design and the third one the middle on the right hand i represent for architectural design that means building house yeah and for the ring finger we i represent for the uh, interior design and for the pinky finger i represent for the product design all design is a physical world and we should think the physical world physical design with universal design okay let me go to left hand the left hand is a is also important point because we start from the thumb is people the person, the people, they come with all different and come with uh, different condition. And the second for the index, this is a represent skill. They come from training, education, and background of the people, such as uh, what what the family do, farming and engineering something and for the third one middle that, rep that represent a uh, smart device not just smartphone or tablet and many home equipment now we are going they are going to smart equipment smart device they come with the user interface and for the ring finger on the right on the left hand that represent uh, software and application. That means we should thinking for software and application with accessibility guideline. That one of the most important key factor for to access software and application. And the last one is uh, connectivity. That means the telecom the telecommunication, the broadcasting, broadcaster, they should, we should prepare a variable network uh, and a good quality network for everywhere and everyone. And then when we think all 10 fingers together, that means inclusive design for all. Now, <clears throat> uh, we're thinking about the, uh, in the part, uh, the people contact, connect with the machine, but now it's more than that. The people contact to the people. The people contact to the machine. The machine contact to the people. The machine contact to the machine. And now the people contact to environment. The machine contact to environment. The environment contact to the uh, people and also contact for the machine. We should think three things all together is a uh, uh, people, machine, and also environment. That means inclusive design for all. And if you decide the uh, the uh, training program for enhance the digital skill for people who, who are all different, we should thinking about inclusive design. That's the way for thinking and way for make decision and design the accessible uh, society and happiness society for everyone.